Bonjour, bonjour, my friends. I am back from Paris and I just thought, why not a Cezanne haul from the pics that I selected from Paris? And uh, just wanted to come in here and show you guys, share what I picked, share some of my favorites. And if you do follow me on Insta already, you probably have seen some of them or most of them. Uh, this one, it's first seen the fridge address. Anyway, if you love to see what I got, stay tuned and uh, let's do this. Okay, first of all, I have so much planned in so little time. I want to just apologize for being a little MIA lately here this last month. My time has been so little and I've had so many other things going on and just last minute trips that weren't uh, planned and I just had to kind of go with the flow. So I hope to have a video here for every week of October, fingers crossed, but um, if not, then we're just going to have to deal with it too. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, so I am, you know, my love for Cezanne and all things Cezanne. I want to show you a few clips in here while I give you this intro of my time in Paris doing their um, little showroom, the things that I've seen in there, like all of the new collection. There's just a lot of like baby pinks and sage colors and just like pastels and even some beautiful French prints, which is something that I don't typically do very much, but I was just so in love with the whole way that they had presented uh, this showroom. So Cezanne is celebrating their 10th anniversary this year, and this was just kind of like a celebration to that. We were able to select a few pieces from the new collection, and then I have the other ones from um, my partnership with them that I have through Instagram and I carry over here because I just love the pieces so much. I want another chance to showcase them here. So Cezanne is kind of like, I don't want to compare it to a Zara because it's definitely not a fast fashion company, but just in ways of like Zara, there's one in each corner, like New York City, for instance, or even in like Spain. And Cezanne is kind of like this in, in Paris. So in France, you find a lot of their stores and each one of them are decorated the specific way. It's just so amazing. You see Cezanne bags all over the streets of Paris. It's just such a cool, true French brand that I highly recommend you guys making a stop there if you ever find yourself in Paris or I don't know if they have it in any other places in France. I've never been around the country, just Paris, but that's to come because I am planning, hopefully, something soon with honey buns just to kind of uh, branch out of Paris a little bit. It's just Paris really, truly brings the best of me, you guys, and I just cannot... I, I'm just like, every t chance I have to go there, I do, and I don't have to leave the city. I can stay right there and be happy as a clam. Anyway, enough of chatting. Let's just dive in to the clothes right now. I am sporting here the Fredge dress. So let me just take out the belt so you can see. It's just a sweater dress, but um, in the Cezanne materials that has um, some of that wool and some of the um, mohair, you know, just um, nice natural fabrics sometimes organic. I don't want to say that this is, but I think that all of them are organic. Made in Paris in their atelier. And it's just a cute one, I feel like, to kind of put on a pair of sneakers and just kind of run errands. Or you can definitely dress it up with the belt, maybe even a jacket. You know, I can see the wheel jacket, like the suede one, and a pair of suede boots. Then it just takes you from day to night or from a casual occasion to a more dressy occasion. And it's like so fast. This is the size extra small and it fits like a glove perfectly. It's not super oversized, um, but it does have a little bit of a drop sleeve. It just looks polished and beautiful even in a casual way. One thing that I noticed, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys here before because it's been a minute since I've done a season haul. I noticed this with Bella the other day. So the wheel jacket is a forever piece. 
And then you have the owner's names in here listed. So, you know, one, two, three, four. So you can write your name and pass it on to your daughters, um, granddaughters, friends, cousins, whatever. It's meant to be a forever piece, which I treasure so much. This is what I treasure the most about Cezanne. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you. Let's go to the next look. Next, we have the Aretha jumper that I've showed you guys on the photo on Instagram. This was my, uh, the piece that I highlighted. I just love, 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 love their sweaters so much. Every single one of them is so timeless. It's done in such a delicate, beautiful, beautiful way. I just want to hug them. Um, so this is a slight balloon sleeve and it has all of this like threads, um, details in them, lots of mohair. So it's just fuzzy and beautiful. This one has a slight uh, puff sleeve here that doesn't really puff up, but it just adds just a little volume to the sleeve. This is the size extra small. It is a bit of the boxy cut, you know, all of the details here and a little bit of a bow neck here too. So you can just kind of tuck out your bra, showcases a little bit of your collarbone. This one, I like tuck, tucking it in, you know, like doing the French tuck too and kind of like leaving the rest out. This would look beautiful with jeans, with trousers, with um, leather pieces, bottoms. And the way that I'm styling for this is when I style for Insta, I wore the Elowain, um, Elowain skirt, which is a midi with a slit. And this time around, I wanted to wear the Tanya skirt, which is a mini. Um, and I think it's just so sassy, so young to just brings the look to a more, like this is definitely like more French conservative or just a French classic. And this is like a little more young, in my opinion, paired with the boots. I can't remember the name of these boots. NIL, NIL. I um, hope I'm saying this right. You guys I always run into this. Um, they do come, these boots do come in a ton of different colors. Um, they didn't have, I wanted them in the cream and they didn't have it in the store. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go with the brown, this chocolate brown because I don't have anything like this um, in suede either. And this is great to walk around on the streets or whatnot because they don't show dirt a lot. So anyway, I have plenty of other cream boots. Um, so I think that this is a cool vibe and all the creams, all the neutrals, chocolate browns, definitely in very trendy color right now. So I thought that this was beautiful. While I'm talking about this, you guys too, or the skirt, I want to say it's in uh, size four. I've decided that all of my bottoms, I fit better in a four um, in, in their uh, sizing because it's a 36 French size. So to me, it just is the best size. It does have a teeny tiny little like in like curve in here. So it just shows a little more of the leg. Super, super cute back zipper in here. And now I want to highlight this gorgeous bag, you guys. I don't think I've liked the Cezanne bag as much as I like this. This is the Marcel and I love, love, love her. I feel like Marcel is a boy's name. I've always thought, but maybe in France it's, uh, it's a girl's name. So I keep on calling it a he, like this little guy. This, the way that the straps are made, it's just all connected through here. And it's just one strap instead of two. And I, at first I'm like, is this gonna be just kind of like a weird, and no, it's so easy to carry. It's just, it makes it to me, even better than if, if, if you would like two straps just to carry and not have them falling down. It's thick, it's adjustable with, um, you know, there's like three different places to adjust it. I just found myself wearing this so much and it's, it's just in the easiest way, not bulky at all. At least I didn't find them because there is this part here in the leather, you can just easily, you know, rest your elbow in here and call it a day. Um, you know, holding here. I found myself doing this a lot in Paris because they do have a lot of pickpockets too, you know, just to make sure that I was always securing in here. It does not close all the way because of the style. So you just essentially like pull it in and um, tighten 
and this is the closest that it will be. It's insanely gorgeous. I cannot say enough. It does have the Cezanne branding just down here. Very, very discreet. Um, inside is quite roomy. However, it does not have any extra pockets for anything. So um, I would recommend bringing a little zip up pouch or whatnot, wallet for your like documents and maybe a little pochette or something um, if you want to keep your things together. I wore this with no problem <laughs> almost every day in Paris and I found it pretty easy to just reach in and grab stuff. It's a really nice size, not huge, but not too small. Just a perfect medium, happy medium to carry all my goods. Now, this one is almost sold out, you guys. I wore this a few times in just over thin layers too. This is a jacket, if you look up online, it shows to be a little bit longer. So I was surprised when I got it to be this short. It's a cardigan jacket. It does have the beautiful buttons in here that are all functioning. So you can open the buttons in the pockets, in the front pockets. I wouldn't recommend putting a lot of stuff in this pockets because it's a knit. It does tend to like stretch. So you don't want to do that with your knit. But I love the colors of this. There's just so much. This was a super popular one in their showroom when they were letting us select pieces they had to remove this jacket from the rack because it was getting picked by everyone so they were like i think that's part of why they're so low in stock but i love how simple it is too there's no like there's not a ham in here it's just a straight cut like bottom in here um, and i actually like the fact that it is a shorter one because it's easier to just wear it looks a little bit like a tweed jacket i can see myself putting like a bro brooch here like maybe a chanel or like a designer brooch to make it like spice it up a bit, wear with like a tank top and jeans. Um, it just looks edgy and fun, but still has this kind of like granny, French granny um, vibe to it. This is called, this is the size small, which is, that's another thing. I've been picking like bigger sizes just to have them look a little bit slouchy and I'm loving it. This, however, is the size extra small, this, this um, sweater. They are a little oversized already, so I recommend staying pretty true to size, especially with the boxiness. But when it's a jacket, it's fun to just go a little bit oversized so you can wear with a thicker layer. The wheel jacket that I have here is also size small, and I'm usually a true extra small. So just for your information, I'm going to have all the links in there down below for you guys to check it out and shop. Hopefully they will do some restocks like with the will. They do a lot, a lot, a lot of restocks. So just keep on checking back and hopefully they will still within the season. For the next outfit, I picked up another blouse. You know, I love the Clo uh, blouse that has the beautiful like scallop detailing here. This one is just a little simpler. I'd say kind of looks like a little peasant blouse. I did go with a size small and this is, it, it's just a little too big for me, but I think it works for the purposes of what I want. Just something super comfortable. It's a raglan sleeve and very wide. There's just a lot of fabric and then it fastened down here with the cuff. So usually my extra small cuff will uh, be pretty tight to my wrist. This one, because it's a small, kind of goes like this. And just something to be noted, I don't mind it so much because sometimes when I'm putting the other ones on, I have to unbutton. It just creates a little more, it's a process to put it on and take it out. This one, you can just slide through it. But it does, it does have a lot of excess of fabric. Because it's so thin though, it's, it is made of viscose. Um, it's easily tucked without you know, making a lot of bulk in here, especially with the skirt being tight. Um, I just think it works really well. So it has the cute little button details. It's a colorless, obviously. You can open up for a little more, you know, sensual vibe or whatnot. Just maybe not wear, or wear was like maybe back like this. Just trying to make it a little funky. Um, but yeah, beautiful. All the detailing here on the sleeve. Cezanne is very good at 
making those like really delicate pieces that has a lot of detailing in it just makes it so much more just looks so much more high-end and then i am um styling the uh, ella one skirt that i wore on the picture on instagram with the aretha jumper they call sweaters jumper in in england or in europe and here's just a sweater <laughs> And so I think that this is just a gorgeous outfit pairing with the long or tall boots too. And because there's a slit in the skirt, I think that it's really, it goes really well and fun um, together. Now I wore the Basile um, cardigan with the teeny tiny knee skirt, the Tanya skirt in the showroom there to show you guys, but I kind of want to just put it on here so you can see also that it works. It works by itself too. I'd say with a cami, um, with just some lace peeking through or even like a cute little bralette with, uh, with some lace, it just makes this, you know, granny like Cardi a little more sexy in, in a good way, not overly if you know what I mean. So this is what it would look like. You can definitely unbutton one, two, and just make it. This is also oversized. I picked up the size small. Um, in this, on the website, it says that if you're in between sizes, you should go down a size. But keep in mind, or read through the description, because a lot of the pieces are a bit oversized, especially when it comes to the sweaters. Um, so just pay attention to that when you're purchasing Cezanne. So yes. This is the Basile. I love this green collar. It is boxy, but with a little bit of a tuck, it just works so well. I can totally see myself wearing this with jeans, maybe even white jeans or a colored denim, uh, maybe like a light blue jeans, a tank, and maybe just open like so. It's uh, so timeless. It, it's like, just looks rich and fabulous. I don't wash all of my cardigans. I actually, I think I washed it like a couple of times. Things like this that you were not directly putting in your underarm and things like this, I feel like um, it's fine not to wash it all the time. So just another something to keep in mind. But the pieces that I have washed, I just wash in a delicate or hand wash um, cycle and then I hang dry or I just I like lay flat. I hang in my little hanger there and kind of like switch around. I don't let it soak through or hang in only one position because it will cause a little mark on your, on your piece. But yeah, this is the other look that I have. And then I have one more look to go that maybe I have showed you guys before, maybe not, but I just, I'm catching myself wearing more and more and I'm like, I'm not sure if I showed you yet or not. So let's do this. Okay. So forgive me if I have showed you guys this already, but I, like I said, I've been catching myself wearing this more and more. I think this, this is the Betty cardigan. It's just so sharp, so pretty. Um, and again, it works for your day to day. I just feel like I'm home and I'm feeling cozy and comfortable, uh, but I'm also okay if somebody pops up in here or comes for a visit, I feel chic, you know, in my own home. Like it's it's one of those pieces. This is a size extra small, comes in different colors, so I want all of the colors, to be honest. The sleeve has a little fold that you can unfold. So if you have like long arms, it works like this too. Sometimes I like, having like a longer sleeve to just kind of like hold on to, but it is meant to be folded a little bit. Cute little neckline, the little pockets with flaps, so details are on point. It has a little polo neckline and the beautiful buttons all the way here. It is a boxy cut too, so kind of like a little cardigan or tweed jacket. And then the Lulu knit trousers. You guys love this trousers. Let me see if I can kind of want to see if you can see more of it. It has a little bit of the pleats. It has a beautiful like elastic that's super comfortable in here. This is size, I believe, extra small. Yeah, this is the extra small. And this actually works really, really good. I think the small would have been too big. This is not too tight for me. The only thing I wish it had was pockets, but then again, it could have taken away from the design as well. I am 5'5", five five and it fits, it, the length is perfect. It has just a little extra there if you wanna have like a chunky 
sneaker or something like this or a pair of boots works as well but this has been my like stay home and be ready to like run errands or you know have a gas stove or <laughs> outfit so i just wanted to share with you guys I, I, when i got this and i might have added to a different video i don't think i had I had a chance to wear it yet so kind of want to give you guys a different perspective too. I do believe that these both come in this other color, so they work like this, but I love a matchy-matchy monochromatic outfit, so I am probably going to wear the Betty in this um, coffee, camel, whatever they call this color um, in the site. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I am so sorry that I blah, blah, blah so much. I blab blabble so much. I just get sidetracked and I get too excited about things. <laughs> but um, stay tuned. I am gonna try to film here within the next couple of days a video about my purchases in Paris and all of the details. So stay tuned for that. I know you guys always love this. I did get a couple of, well, a handbag and a little mini one, like a leather good. Some makeup, I got some clothes, which I never do. So yeah, there's a few fun things coming up. And so stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. As always helps me so, 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 so much and subscribe to the channel and all of that good stuff. And until next time, um beijo, au revoir.